Anthony Polito, the name gunman in the UNLV mass shooting, according to police, posted several links on his personal website, revealing more about his views and possible motives. News 3's Brett Forrest reports on an analysis and investigation of the alleged shooter's online presence. Suspect is identified as 67-year-old Anthony James Polito. Anthony or Tony Polito, named as a gunman in the December 6th mass shooting on UNLV's campus. Campus police killing Polito outside of the business school after he had shot and killed three faculty members inside, seriously injuring a fourth. I want to stress that we're still learning a lot about this suspect and still trying to understand motive. We know he applied numerous times for a job with several Nevada higher education institutions and was denied each time. Police saying Polito had a target list of UNLV and East Carolina University faculty. None of those listed were victims in the shooting. According to his LinkedIn profile, he was an associate professor at East Carolina University from 2001 through 2017. His personal website also revealing details about the man. Notably, on December 2nd, a link on his site titled Content of Envelopes is seen here through an internet archive search. That link was then taken down before the shooting. Police used his dash cam video to track Polito back to a post office. The suspect had earlier visited a Henderson post office and sent 22 letters to various university personnel across the country with no return address. It's unclear if the content of envelopes link on his site is what he sent out through the mail, though the link contained 21 letters in all. They paint a picture of a troubled and resentful man holding grudges, some decades old, against those he came across in his time as a professor and Ph.D. student. And then one letter addressed to Geico, upset about a vehicle insurance claim he allegedly filed with the company. The letter is written poorly, referring to himself as Dr. 160 IQ multiple times and containing numerous vulgarities. We are currently working with the postal inspector and our federal partners to begin processing these letters. We do not know the contents of these letters and we're working to contact the recipients of those letters. Police say they intercepted the 22 letters they know of and that a white powder substance inside them was found to be harmless. If anybody um, in the education world receives a letter with a no return address that is taped, we ask you to proceed with caution and contact your local authorities. Other online profiles like Polito's LinkedIn and YouTube have been deleted and are now defunct. Screenshots and internet archive searches reveal some of the content. LinkedIn had memorialized his page before quickly taking it down after News 3 reached out for comment. His YouTube page only had three videos posted, including room tours of Vegas hotels. And he was subscribed to several accounts relating to Las Vegas, poker, an adult film star, and a conservative political account. Police say the investigation into Polito remains ongoing. In Las Vegas, I'm Brett Forrest reporting News 3. Subscribe to News 3 on YouTube at News 3 Las Vegas.